To finish this program, we're going to make a third and final view to display astronaut details, which will be reached by tapping one of the astronauts in the mission view. This should mostly just be practice for you, but I do want to highlight an interesting quirk and in how it can be resolved with a new modifier called Layout Priority. Start by making a new Swift UI view called Astronaut View. This will have a single astronaut property so it knows what to show. Then it'll lay that out using a similar geometry reader, scroll view, vstack combination as we had in mission view. Give it this code. Let astronaut, astronaut, geometry reader, geometry in, scroll view, dot vertical, vstack, image, self, dot astronaut, dot id, dot resizable, dot scale to fit, dot frame, width, geometry dot size dot width. Text self dot astronaut dot description dot padding. And then navigation bar title, the text of astronaut dot name, display mode dot inline. Once again, we have to update the preview so it creates as viewer some data. Static let astronauts, array of astronaut, equals bundle.main.decode, astronauts.json. And then astronaut, astronauts zero. Now we can present that from mission view using another navigation link. This needs to go just inside the for reach so it wraps the existing HDAC like this. Navigation link, destination, astronaut view, astronaut, crew member astronaut. Then push all the code inside in one level. Then add a closing brace. Run the app now and give it a thorough try. You should see at least one bug and perhaps two depending on Swift UI. The first bug is pretty glaring. In the mission view, all our astronaut pictures are shown as solid blue capsules rather than their pictures. You might also notice that each person's name is written in the same shade of blue, which might give you a clue what's going on. Now that this is a navigation link, SwiftUI is making the whole thing look active by coloring our views blue. To fix this, we have to ask SwiftUI to render the contents of the navigation link as a plain button, which means it won't apply coloring to the image or text. So add this as a modifier to the astronaut navigation link in mission view. Dot button style, plain button style. As for the second bug, it's possible you don't even see it at all. This seems to me to be a bug in Swift UI itself. And so it either might be fixed in a future release or it's possible it only affects certain device configurations. So if this bug doesn't exist for you when using the same iPhone simulator as me, it's possible it's been resolved. The bug is this. If you select certain astronauts, such as Edward H. White II from Apollo 1, you might see their description text gets clipped at the bottom. So rather than seeing all the text, you instead see just some, followed by an ellipsis where the rest should be. And if you look closely at the top of the image, you might see it's no longer positioned directly against the navigation bar at the top. What we're seeing is Swift UI's layout algorithm having a hard time coming to the right conclusion about our content. And it's possible that by the time you try this yourself, it won't even exist. But it exists right here. So I'm gonna show you how you can fix it using the layout priority modifier. Layout priority lets us control how readily a view shrinks when space is limited, or expands when space is plentiful. All views have a layout priority of zero by default which means they get equal chance to grow or shrink. We're going to give our astronaut description a layout priority of one, which is higher than the image's zero, which means it will automatically take up all available space. To do this, just add layout priority one to the description text view in astronaut view, like this. With those two bugs fixed, our program is done. Run it one last time and try it out.